Good day, everyone. My name is Mr. Garth Reed, and I'm a student ambassador in the University of Technology, Jamaica. I'm also a mathematics teacher and training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at differentiation by first principles, which is in the K Pure Mathematics Unit 1 syllabus of Module 3, Calculus 1. So the question is use first principles to differentiate f of x, which is equal to x cubed plus 3x plus 1 with respect to x. All right, so we are required to differentiate this cubic polynomial using first principles. All right, so you should know that the definition of the derivative is f prime of x, which is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x, right? And remember now that we need to divide that by h. Okay, so that is what we'll be working with for this question. So step one is to find the average rate of change. All right, so we need to find the average rate of change. How do we do that? So the average rate of change is f of x plus h minus f of x, and we are going to divide that by h. All right, so let's look back at our function. Our function is f of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x plus 1. All right, f of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x plus 1. Okay, so let us find the average rate of change. So f of x plus h means that wherever we see x in this function, we're going to substitute x plus h. So that is x plus h all cubed plus three times x plus h plus one, right? And remember now that we need to divide that expression by h. So let us simplify. When you expand x plus three all to the power of three, you get x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed, all right, plus 3x plus 3h, right? Expand 3 times x, 3 times h, and you have a plus 1. Now remember that we need to subtract f of x, all right? We need to subtract f of x. In the, in the expression as well. Let me do that here, subtracting x cubed plus 3x plus 1. Please ensure that whenever you are doing this step, you use brackets, all right? The brackets are important. So if you expand this, the negative sign will affect each term inside the brackets. So you get negative x cubed, minus 3x minus 1. And remember that we need to divide that expression by h. All right. So immediately, you will recognize that terms will cancel. This x cubed will cancel with the negative x cubed. The negative 3x will cancel with the positive 3x. And the positive 1 will cancel with the negative 1. All right. So that is what we will get. Whenever you're performing differentiation by first principles on a polynomial, always look out for the terms being canceled out. All right? So that is equal to what we have left now is 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed, right? I remember there's a 3x here, 3h, sorry, right there. That's 3h 
all right? And we need to divide that expression by h. So this is now equal to, you recognize in the numerator, we have h as a common factor. So I'm gonna factor with h. When I factor with h in brackets, I will have 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared plus three. And remember now that we need to divide this expression by h. So clearly, you can see that the h in the numerator and in the denominator will cancel out. All right, so what you have left is what is inside the brackets, plus 3xh plus 3h squared plus three. Very good. So that is our average rate of change, which is f of x plus h minus f of x. And we are dividing that by a. Good. So that is our average rate of change, which is step one. Step two now is to find the instantaneous rate of change, right? So find the instantaneous rate of change. The instantaneous rate of change is the derivative, all right? That's what the derivative is. Let's look at it now. So when we're finding the instantaneous rate of change, that is when we apply the limit to the average rate of change, right? So we know that f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x. And we are going to divide that by h, right? We had already calculated what the average rate of change was, which is 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared plus three. Now, when you're calculating this limit, you're using direct substitution, all right? So if you should substitute h as zero into this expression in the brackets, you will get three x squared plus three, right? So this term here will go to zero and this term will go to zero, all right? So that is your answer, all right? So let me write the final answer here. So therefore, f prime of x is equal to 3x squared plus 3. All right, so we have now calculated the answer for this question. I thank you for joining.